Hello, my name is Dr. Uppal. I'm one of the psychiatrists and today we are going to talk about Capgras syndrome and Fregoli syndrome. It's a difficult topic in psychiatry to understand but we'll try to make it as simple as possible. To understand Capgras syndrome, let's try to understand the bittersweet relationship between Jenny and her daughter Sarah. Jenny loves Sarah a lot and they are very good mother and daughters. But however, Jenny develops dementia and she gets a bit confused about her love about Sarah. Gradually, Jenny starts to believe that her daughter Sarah is not Sarah. She's someone else and she's an imposter. And that exactly happens in Capgras syndrome. It's a delusion of misidentification. The extent of problem may be so that she might believe that everybody around her is an imposter and it might be very dangerous. To understand the Capgras syndrome, we must understand this neural pathway. Now, whenever we see some relationship, there are two parts of the brain which are active. One of them identifies the face and there's another part of the brain which helps in forming a relationship with that face. The part which identifies that face is causes fusiform gyrus and the part which helps in having an emotional bond with that face is amygdala. But however, in Capgras syndrome, this pathway between fusiform gyrus and amygdala, it, it, it gets broken down. So because of which, although you identify the person, but you are not able to identify the relationship with that person. Fregoli syndrome is quite similar to Capgras syndrome, but it is quite different also. In this, the person believes that it is the same person which has been impersonating into different forms. For example, on the left of the screen, we can see Richard Dawkins and Emma Watson. They are quite similar in their resemblance, no offense. But a person with poor information processing might believe that they both are the same persons, and that happens in Fregoli syndrome. Well, thank you for patiently listening. So Capgras and Fregoli are quite similar but quite different. In Capgras, one person believes that the other person, especially the child or the family member, is an imposter. It can happen in schizophrenia or dementia quite often. And in Fregoli syndrome, we might believe that the same person has been impersonating again and again. And it, it, if you read about Fregoli, it's quite interesting because the way he used to change his dresses and it used to be so quick that everyone used to get mesmerized and even people were doubtful that it was the same person or was it a different person and there, there were also like people who were copying him and you can this is all over the internet and you can read it well thanks for patiently listening to me and happy learning and we are happy to answer any of your questions again in the next video